Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? This is going to be Arts and Farts, episode five. If you don't know about this show, this is your first time watching it, it's a show where I pick a reference image or reference photo, and uh, I draw it, and I draw it in different ways, and if you want to get the reference photo for yourself, it's in a link in the description, and so you can draw along with me if you want. So uh, this week, or, well, I'm doing two episodes this week, but this episode I got this weird, like, creepy old refrigerator. I thought it'd be fun to draw... Um, something like man-made because last last episode we we drew a rock and that's very organic so I wanted to do something uh, kind of the opposite still kind of like you know some scenery stuff but uh, you know man-made rather than natural and I'm gonna be using these uh, big pencils so um, I'm gonna use this Koinor Hartmuth lead holder it's like a two millimeter like 2.3 I can't remember I think it's two millimeter but it's got this big uh, graphite lead inside which I sharpen. You can also um, get big pencils like this. That's why I brought this one out. This is a credit color mega graphite. So it's pretty much the same thing as like a two millimeter lead, but it's a wood pencil. So if you prefer wood pencils, you can get that too. Um, I wanted to do something like kind of abstract, you know, a little bit more freeform um, than the last couple weeks. So I'm going to, you know, draw really, really loose. The reason I love this pencil is because it's really heavy. It's like aluminum. And so, I don't know, it has a nice weight to it when I'm drawing with heavier pencils, like my line work tends to be a lot looser. So I'm just gonna jump in here, but yeah, so I'm gonna do a little bit more like kind of expressionism, you know, or impressionism rather. I'm gonna draw, try to draw like really fast and stay like super loose and just kind of like see where it takes me. But yeah, you may have seen that I posted on my Instagram, my Twitter, whatever, like, sorry for the delay, didn't have an episode last weekend, it's because I was traveling, so I'm back now, and I'm going to give you guys uh, two episodes, so we're going to have one, and then another one, because it's two, you know, it's one, and then one, and then two, I don't know exactly what days I'm going to release them, so I'm not like, oh, it'll be out on this day, because I don't know what I'm going to do, we'll find out, right, but yeah, so drawing this fridge here, just wanted to... It's like, it's like an easy thing. It's like almost in like three quarter perspective. So you don't really have to worry about like the perspective on it too much. And kind of just like play around with it. Like not worried about making it like totally nice in perspective or anything like that. Like just, just kind of exploring the lines and shapes and stuff. You know, keeping it really, really casual. Um, whenever I do warm ups, I, I like to keep it like, you know, low pressure, low pressure. It's easier to be creative in a lower pressure environment. If you're feeling like pressured to, like make something or you know something like that, then it gets a little bit like stressful, and that's you know that's not fun. That's not a good, that's not a good way to nurture creativity being stressed. So just chill out, draw a weird looking fridge, and don't worry about how it looks. I like all like the cracking paint and stuff, the really cool details. I like the texture and stuff too. I'm not going to be spending too much time doing the texture or anything like that because I'm mostly just like focusing on the shapes. But if I were to make this like, you know, like an actual drawing or an illustration or something, I would like really get in there with the graphite and like do all these textures and stuff. I think this is like the name of the fridge or something, like the letters are falling off, like all those cool little details, you know. I think it's really fun to kind of explore that stuff. What is this thing? It's like a pipe. I think it's like a pipe. It looks kind of bizarre. But it's like kind of like going along with the, you know, it's like um, parallel to the door of the fridge. I think it looks neat. So when I, when I, when I draw loose, um, the reason you see me holding like the pencil way back on the pencil is it kind of like it, it, you, you lose a bit of like control over the pencil when you do that, which feels kind of like, I'll admit, it feels like awkward and strange at first to kind of like give up some control over the tool. Like you want to feel like you're in control, like that's just natural. But if you give up some control of it, you end up getting like, you know, kind of like little happy accidents, Bob Ross style, you know, stuff you don't intend to do, but you're like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Taking yourself out of your comfort zone and trying new things. I really like to do that. And like, I'm kind of, this time when I'm drawing, I'm like looking at the reference and looking at my drawing out of the corner of the eye, corner of my eye, sorry. Usually it's the other way around. Usually I'm looking at my drawing and looking at the reference out of the corner of my eye. 
but I'm like just kind of just staring at the reference at the uh, reference. Sorry, I had to cut there, um, or I will in the future because while I'm recording this right now, I haven't cut it yet. Somebody trying to call me while I'm recording. Can you believe it? Dang it. But yeah, here we go. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, just kind of like not thinking about it too much, just going on like autopilot. It's fun to draw that way, especially when there's, you know, really no stakes or anything like this. Like there's no, there's no pressure for me to make this like, you know, an excellent, perfect illustration. It's, you know, a, whether you want to use it as practice or a warm up or, you know, however, however you want to do it, like it doesn't matter. You do it your way and it doesn't matter uh, how it turns out because it's just for you, just for you. I just like playing with these. I like to, when I use big, big pencils, I like to knife sharpen them. So they have like kind of like these, you know, jagged angular edges you can kind of like shade with and stuff like that. I know it's fun by like twisting the pencil, you can get different line qualities. If you haven't used like giant pencils before, I definitely recommend trying some. You can just go to like pretty much any store and they have like Ticonderoga ones that are like extra fat number two pencils and definitely pick some up because they're fun to play with. I really, really like them. Let's draw some junk in this drawer, huh? It's, you know, it's a, it's a junk, junk drawer. Drawer full of junk, everybody's got one. I got like six. I think all my drawers are actually just filled with junk. Probably pretty accurate. Lots of art supplies. <laughs> lots and lots of art supplies. Like random little toys and stuff, you know, like screwdrivers. You never know what you're gonna find. It's like a treasure, so it's like a treasure trove. Like lost. Lost stuff in the stuff drawer, junk drawer, whatever you call it, everybody's got one. And just draw some, like, a little bit of, like, texture, just to mess around. It's kind of a spooky looking fridge. Oh man, I was thinking, it's gonna be fun because, um, I wanted to say this, I almost forgot, I was, like, trying to think of something to talk about and then I remembered. For the month of October, all of I'm gonna do all the Arts and Farts episodes um, with ink to do Inktober as well. And um, I'll probably do like, you know, Halloween themed stuff. It'll be fun. I was like just thinking about that this morning. I really wanna do that. So it's gonna be like, yeah, like, like spooky month for <laughs> Arts and Farts. Spooky month, man. Halloween's the best holiday, it's my favorite. You get to dress up and get candy and I don't know it's fun sign me up I'm ready and I was wearing my uh, I have a jack-o-lantern shirt many of you may have seen it and I wear it all year round it's it's like not I don't limit it to a Halloween thing for me I wear it all year round and uh, <laughs> some of the other day I was like oh you're a little early for Halloween it's like I was wearing this in February so it's always Halloween in my heart, you know? You don't know me. I wasn't really mad, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, talking about the drawing, right? Because that's what I've been doing. I'm doing an episode, something, arts, yeah, okay, that's what I was doing. Arts and farts, drawing a spooky fridge. Let me know what, what you think is in the spooky fridge. What's in the spooky fridge? You could draw something in the spooky fridge if you wanted to. You like draw the door like a little bit like more cracked open and they put like a, you know, giant like mutant leftover monster like made out of like food and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Or, like a bunch of like tiny people stealing all your food. Or, like a portal to Narnia, but it's like, it's not Narnia, it's like the ghetto Narnia. It's like a really crappy place instead of a really nice place. That's what it would be in like a beat up old fridge. If it, if it would transport you to another dimension. Big pencils, man, they're great. You can cover a lot of distance in a little, little, little amount of time, small amount of time. I can speak English most days. Here we go. That's, that's, that's been my fridge. 
you know, this is, uh, you know, kind of a shorter episode probably because I wanted to, you know, kind of draw fast and just do it like really, really loose. Um, I think I want to do like some more, you know, abstract stuff in the future too. And impressionism, you know, taking the things you see and, uh, you know, drawing how you feel about it rather than exactly what you're seeing. It's really, it's really fun. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, if you want to see some more, uh, like abstract stuff and, and theories rather than just straight, like, you know, just drawing one-to-one -one basically, um, let me know, you know, and always, I'm always open to hear like opinions and suggestions and stuff like that. So, uh, don't be shy, leave a comment, like, and subscribe and all that other fun stuff. So I hope you like this. Uh, episode of Arts and Farts, episode 5. Going to be another one coming real soon to make up for the lack of an episode last week. But uh, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.